Welcome to Google Sheets Intermediate 2. In this session, we will learn how to create and modify simple charts or graphs from a data table. Now that you have this lovely data table that you've created with your formulas that had automatically calculated your totals and your averages, let's see if we can make a chart. What I'd like to do is I'm going to highlight the entire selection, including the labels that I have at the top. It's very important that you grab the labels as well because those will become the labels on your chart. So once you've highlighted the data that you want, so for this chart I'm going to do um, the names and week one, two, three, and four, but I'm going to exclude the total from my chart. And I'm going to do insert and chart. And you'll see that Google will give you several different options for charts. This is a nice one with the stacked bar graph. You have a side-by-side -side bar graph, some uh, line graphs, and pie charts. There's all kinds of interesting ones. And you can actually go through and look at more chart types if you are interested. There are lots, I mean, we have scatter plots and all kinds of different information. You just have to select the kind of chart that suits you and your needs for this. So for this particular one, I'm going to use this uh, double bar graph and how it, or I'm sorry, it's a quadruple bar graph, I guess. Um, so we have Susie, Mary, Tom, Bill, Tim, and Sarah with their names across the bottom, and then we have week one, week two, week three, week four. So I'm going to go ahead and click Insert, and you'll see that it's going to put that right on the same page as your data table that you have. If you make any changes to the data table, the chart should update live. So if I change this one, for example, you'll see that Bill's uh, steps for week two went down drastically. Let's make that another number that's a little higher so we can still see it on the chart. And you'll see that those charts do update um, live. So as you change them, again, it will update down here. You would do also have control over the title by double clicking on the title. We can say chart of steps taken. And we can change that to whatever you'd like it to be. Okay, and you have some options here as far as like changing the font and whatnot. You can change the labels on pretty much any part of your charts that you would like. So we can say this names of participants. And it's very easy to do. So now if you need to edit it, um, you can also click on this pencil, which will give you the quick edit modes. And um, if you need to delete it by clicking on it, you can push delete on your keyboard and to insert another type. So for example, if I want to do just the total, I can do insert chart. And maybe for this one, I'll do a pie graph and I can see the different ones. Now you'll see that it did not give me labels here because I did not grab the name column. So if I do want to do that, I probably should grab the name column because you'll see that it gives me totals with no indication of what the data actually stands for. So it is important to make sure that you grab that as well. That was Google Sheets Intermediate 2. Thank you for watching, and please make sure that you check out our other interactive videos about Google Sheets.